Hello everyone and welcome back to another lecture on vector algebra. So in the previous lecture we learned what is scalar vector and some different types of vectors. Now here first we learn what is Cartesian coordinate system. Okay. So let us draw three perpendicular axes. Suppose x axis, y axis and z axis. And then after that we, if we take two three points like 1 0 0 suppose 1 0 0 this is 1 0 0 and 0 1 0 and then what 0 0 1 ok 1 0 0 0 1 0 and then what 0 0 1 now if we uh, draw this particular rectangle ok each side is equals to what 1 all the sides is equals to what one okay now this particular system now this particular coordinate system is called what a rectangular coordinate system now see x axis y axis and z axis all meet at one point and that particular point is called what origin okay origin so in any system any maybe two dimension or three dimension will get a uh, origin or sometimes it is called vertex okay so this is a cartesian coordinate system where we have x axis y axis and z axis so in this particular space if you take any point suppose uh, in this point what, what what is the coordinate of this particular point coordinate of this point is 1 comma 1 comma 1 because uh, it is at a distance you can see it like this also x 1 okay this distance is 1 then along y axis we have to come 1 this is one and then along z axis we have to go what one so finally we'll get, get this point p one 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 now why we want why we need this cartesian coordinate system because uh, whatever we learn next in each and every system we'll talk about origin that is o so to define origin we need this cartesian coordinate system either it, it is two dimensional or what three dimensional now then one very important uh, definition is position vector okay so now we learn what is cartesian coordinate system and what is origin so see o be a fixed point in space or maybe plane if it is two dimensional so space or maybe it is what plane and p be any point now i am not uh, drawing yet all the axis or if you want to draw then you can draw suppose this is our x y and z axis Right, x axis y axis and then what suppose z axis this is origin now origin is the fixed point and p is any other point any other point suppose it is x comma y comma z then this op bar okay this op bar is called position of p from where from the point o so when someone asks you where are you so if someone asks to know the current position of you so that means you are uh, at that particular point what is the position from your home or from your origin so here also when you ask about the position of a point that means the distance of the point along with the direction from the fixed point o so here op bar is called the position vector of p from o right so if this is r this distance is r or a then you can write like this r bar okay so it's very very important now suppose uh, vector in terms of position vector of uh, is n points okay it's n points suppose there are two different points uh, a and b this point is a this point is b now if a bar and b bar are the two position vector means a bar b bar two position vector means there will there must should be a origin okay. suppose this point is b so this is o so this vector is a bar and this vector is what b bar this is given but if we want to find the vector in terms of its uh, end points like suppose a b bar you want to find a b bar okay a b bar then how to find a b bar a b bar is position vector of a uh, first position vector of b sorry uh, position vector of b minus what position vector of a so final minus initial a b bar so b is the final point so position vector of the final point minus position vector of the initial point so it is how much 
b bar minus a bar. If you want to find b a bar, then now a is the final point, then it will be a minus b. So this is very important. In so many problem, we have to use this particular result. Okay. Uh, if position vector of two different points are given, then you can find the uh, uh, vector uh, of the of their what endpoints vector position vector of the endpoints. So this is again one important term. Now section formula. I think you, in coordinate geometry you all heard about section formula. So there are three formulas. Section formulas. One is internal internal section formula, then external. And then another one is uh, midpoint. Okay, midpoint. So let me discuss one by one. Internal means what? Suppose uh, there are two points A and B. A and B two points. O is the fixed point. A bar is the position vector of A. B bar is the position vector of B. Suppose in between A and B there is another point C. Okay, there is another point. C. It is not the middle point. C is any other point. Now C divides this particular line AB in the ratio, suppose M is to N. Okay, then we need to find the position vector of this point C, let it be R bar. So why it is called internal division? Because the point C lies between A and B. So then R bar is equals to how much? It is uh, MB bar plus N A bar divided by what? m plus n if the division is internal but suppose the division is external so if the division is external then it, it will look like this a point b point suppose the point c no c lies outside outside a b so this is o now this point is our r bar like previous one this is a bar this is b bar and the ratio is like this suppose this is m and this part is what n now since c lies outside ab so that's why it is called external division then the formula for r bar is m b bar minus n a bar divided by what m minus n and finally midpoint it is possible that um, a and b suppose this is a and this is b and this one is c suppose c is the midpoint if it is midpoint then these two are same okay this vector is a bar this vector is what b bar then how to find the position vector of c r bar this is nothing but m b bar plus m a bar divided by what m plus m so we can cancel m so finally we will get a bar plus b bar divided by 2 so if it is a middle point then this ratio this the value of m we can neglect so directly we can write a bar plus b bar divided by okay a bar plus b bar divided by 2 if c is the midpoint if c is a point between a and b then what internal division if c is a point outside a b then also it can divide but the formula will be like this m b bar minus a, a bar divided by m minus and this is called what external division Okay, now component of a vector in two dimension. How to write the component? So this is again one very important thing. So two dimensions. So let us take x axis and y axis. X axis and y axis. So you all know about unit vector, right? Formula for unit vector is what? A bar divided by its what? Magnitude. Okay. Now let us take a point P. This is one point P whose coordinate is x comma y. So then these distances will be this distance is how much? This is x and this distance will be what? Y. So let uh, this particular point is uh, M and the coordinate of P is x comma y. Okay, then uh, let P within bracket x comma y be any point. on the plane two dimensional plane okay on the plane and let om om equals to x and mp equals to how much okay, right so this is x this distance is x this distance is what y now see 
suppose nothing is mentioned here the figure is given so that's why we are understanding clearly somewhere it is written like that om equal to x so if om equals to x then which direction it is along x axis or along y axis so that's why when the same thing we will write in vector form then we have to give the unit vector what i cap okay so i cap means it is along x axis similarly mp bar so it will be y what and j cap means it is along see it is along which axis y direction y axis now we will find this vector op bar so op bar so op bar is how much om plus this will be our om bar plus mp bar this is by triangle law vector addition that i will explain clearly in the next video so this plus this is equals to how much op bar so it will be x i cap plus y j cap and this if you want if you suppose this is as r bar then r bar equals to how much x i cap plus y j cap so r bar is the position vector of the point p which can be expressed like this x i cap and y j cap so here what we have written components of a vector in two dimension so these are the components okay this is x component and this is what y component so now when you talk about component we won't say i cap and j cap right so x component is x and y component is how much y now we can find the mode magnitude also modulus r bar modulus r bar is how much modulus x i cap plus y j cap how to find the magnitude it will be root over x square plus y square there will be no direction right so magnitude of the magnitude of the vector op bar is how much root over x square plus y square okay now let us uh, discuss one more thing from here component of a vector component of a vector in terms of coordinates coordinates of its endpoints okay endpoints so if it is like that then we have to take consider two point suppose one point is a another point is what b since we are talking about uh, two dimensions so this point is suppose x1 y1 and this point is what x2 comma y2 okay so uh, as we already discussed there should be one origin so can you tell me what is oa bar oa bar is position vector of a minus position vector of o so coordinate of o is how much is 0 comma 0 so what we can write x1 minus 0 i cap plus y1 minus 0 j cap so it will be how much x1 i cap plus y1 j cap so in the same way what is ob bar our ob bar will be uh, x2 i cap plus y2 j cap but see what we want to find components of a vector in terms of its endpoints so endpoint means ab bar so ab bar means what position vector of b minus position vector of a so just now what we find position vector of b so what is the position vector vector b x2 i cap plus y2 j cap and position vector of a is x1 i cap plus y1 j cap so if we subtract what we will get x2 minus x1 i cap and then um, plus y2 minus y1 j cap right so these are what these are the components of a b bar what is the com what is the component of the vector a b bar x2 minus x1 this is along x axis because i cap is there and then y2 minus y1 this is along what y axis so what will be the magnitude so magnitude will be root of r this is very interesting you see x2 minus x1 whole square and then y2 minus y1 whole square so you know you are familiar with this formula this is nothing but distance formula right distance between the point a and b okay so if we want to find a b bar like this we can find this is our a b bar and magnitude is root over x2 minus x1 whole square plus y2 minus y1 whole square so in the same way we can find the components of a vector in three dimension so when you talk about three dimension suppose here o a 
our OA bar will be X and since we have written in vector forms I cap OB bar it will be suppose Y J cap and then OC bar will be how much Z K cap okay so if we want to find OP bar like the previous one OP bar then it is nothing but OA bar plus OB bar plus what OC bar so it's X I cap plus Y J cap plus z k cap so same thing but we are ex extending one more axis which is z axis so this is in three dimension if we suppose this is r bar then r bar look like this and the magnitude will be magnitude of bar is root over how much x square plus y square plus z square okay so in the same way if you take two different point a and b a b whose coordinates are x1 y1 z1 and then what x2 y2 and then z2 then like the previous part a b bar will be how much x2 minus x1 i cap plus y2 minus y1 j cap and then what z2 minus z1 k cap and a b bar will be like distance formula in three dimension x2 minus x1 whole square plus y2 minus y1 whole square plus z2 minus z1 whole square right so what we learned today what is cartesian coordinate system and then position vector position vector of n points and then components of a vector in two dimension and also components of a vector in three dimension so these are all very important for doing some examples so in our next lecture we will learn what are the different operations on vector algebra okay after that we will solve, solve some examples Okay, so till the next video, thank you very much for watching. So kindly uh, share with your friends so that uh, others also get the same benefit. Thank you.